morning, I would like to present a long-term Apache member, Cher Kukaro. Was that correctly Good. pronounced? He will be talking <coughs> to us today about supporting over Apache brands while making a profit. It's part of his job in the foundation, or job, or hobby in the foundation to do about trademarking and branding. So I look really forward to hearing this. Good. Thank you. Thank you, Jan. So supporting Apache brands while making a profit. So obviously, the, we, Apache presents a brand, and then many companies want to use those brands for various purposes. And I want to make sure to explain the whys and hows of how we want or would allow third parties to use our brands. So uh, an introduction, obviously. My name is Shane Kirkrew, as introduced. I serve as the vice president of brand management for the Apache Software Found Foundation. This is a volunteer position, so no, I'm not paid for being here today. Um, appointed by the board of directors. And in the appointment of the officer of the corporation, my role is to define and implement trademark and branding policy for all 180 Apache project communities. So that includes 149 top-level projects, and as of yesterday, 32 incubator podlinks. Uh, and I have indeed been involved at the ASF since 1999. If we look on MarkMail, the aggregate of all Apache mailing lists, my first post, I think, was November 24th, 99. So uh, any questions, trademarks at apache.org is the mailing list that I and members answer. So that's the quest place to any questions related to anything about this. That's where to ask. So what do we need to talk about here today? So to really understand the Apache brand, we need to know what it is. And I would posit that we have a number of different views of what it is here, even in this room, even with a small crowd. So I'd like to talk about what is Apache in terms of the organization. Uh, I'd like to talk about what the Apache brand stands for, what we believe the Apache brand stands for, what we want it to be seen as in the world. Um, because the, the reasons for why we have our policy that way it's important to understand the whys to then, from your perspective, be able to understand, would this be okay or not? Because we obviously have a, a very different model than a traditional software vendor. So obviously, some people may have come to say, you know, what can I do? All right, great, I'd like to make a profit. I'd like to capitalize on our, your brand awareness. How can I do that? So we'll, we'll talk about a few examples of that. Um, and at some point, we need to look uh, at the looming elephant in the room and talk about brand enforcement for when things do not go well, uh, what actions we take. And I'd like to have plenty of time for questions um, because in trademark use, the most common answer from a basic question for a trademark is, it depends. Show me an example. You can't really say we would approve this or not without having an example. So, there's a lot of questioning, there's a lot of asking, and there's a lot of um, the rest in terms of the details of how things work. So what is the Apache Software Foundation? Hopefully this is you know, all old news to everybody here, but I think it's important to, to get the rationale behind how we want our brands to be used. So structure, and this is something I think people kind of get but don't really think about. So we are a Delaware chartered, 501c3 membership corporation uh, and a public charity. Being a public charity is part of our bylaws. That's fundamental to who we are. We have a nine member board of directors that is elected by the membership and at least members as in members who are shareholders of the corporation. We have a little bit over 400 active members as individuals. Um, and to date we have only had members who have been nominated to the board. So this is a position earned by merit within the foundation um, to become a member, and then above that to become potentially elected to the board. So in terms of uh, the corporation, we actually do have quite a budget. We have a corporate sponsorship program, which I hope people are aware of. Thank you to all the sponsors who might be here. Uh, and we also have individual donors. We have a lot more individual donors now that we have the Apache Open Office project with, do we have 100 million downloads yet? We have a lot. 98 million downloads, darn, we should have waited two more days. Um, that, 
those donations provide 100% of all funding for the ASF. Uh, and we have a $750,000 annual budget, which is posted publicly in our board minutes. Um, primarily goes to hardware and sysadmin contractors. Uh, we also have publicity contracts. Um, we spend some money on events, like ApacheCon, uh, brand management, and a few other sort of miscellaneous things. But really, the core thing is really the hardware and the system people who keep everything running. So how do we govern the structure? How do we decide what's right, and how do we say, in terms of policy, really, what is the appropriate Apache policy? So the board is very clear about delegating authority. So the board is the buck stops here, just like in a public corporation. It's the same way. But we appoint vice presidents at the corporate level to set Apache-wide policy. So while our, all the Apache projects do their own thing, they are required to follow a core policy in terms of licensing, legal issues, brand issues, um, infrastructure in terms of how they use Subversion or Git or whatever, um, press, so we offer services to many projects as well, which comes from these officers. Um, as I said earlier, we have 149 projects and 32 podlings, so it's, they all share these core services and policies, but also obviously have their own individuality. The important thing to sort of think about is from the, the top to the bottom, the board creates every Apache Project Management Committee, or PMC. So, uh, and appoints a vice president of that project, who is an officer of the foundation. PMCs are elected by merit-based volunteers. So it's volunteers who have shown merit within the project who are doing the work on that project. The key point is that the projects determine their technical direction. So they have their own lives. I'm sure that's familiar to everybody. Within the structure of what few legal and brand and so on rules that we have, which are not negotiable with projects. So that's part of being an Apache project. But the really important thing is all governance positions are volunteers. So we rely on the people who are doing the work to serve as the leaders. So we have a number of paid contractors, but the contract positions we have that do jobs within the foundation are not governance, they're not leadership. So that's important to understand the difference between the Apache Software Foundation and what our goal in the world is, which to some degree is, is part of what our project's goals are. Obviously, a project may want to implement some standard, but really in the bigger picture, what really do we believe and do we want to do in the world? Because understanding the why is critical to understanding the details of a policy, especially with something like branding, where it's really the image that's projected of something. So, if people don't remember anything else from my talk today, I want to make sure people understand the why of why our policies are the way they are. So we have different goals. So those of you from software vendors out there and those of us who are volunteering at leadership positions at Apache, we have different goals. They're not incompatible at all, but it's important to understand that difference. So our mission is to provide software for the public good. And it's so short and it sounds so trite but that is fundamentally, that helps us decide how we set policy. If it helps more humans use software to do something useful, then it's probably good for us. And if it doesn't, it's not. So our method, the way we do that, is the foundation provides a stable and independent vendor neutral home for like-minded project communities. So the foundation itself doesn't actually accomplish the mission. We provide services to individuals who want to accomplish the mission for us. We help them out doing it in our model. And our goal is to ensure that the foundation is here as this home for projects, and hopefully we'll have some projects, for the next 50 years. So one of our long-term directors, Greg Stein, said this a couple of years ago. And whenever people said, you know, what is your plan? What's your five-year plan? Where, where do you want Apache to go? We don't want the foundation to go anywhere except to still be here and be a place where projects can come and do the work and create this great software that then people can use, that then corporations can use and resell and make profit on and do new ideas, and little small businesses can just run out of the box for free. But this is the why of our trademark policy, and in fact all of our policies, is serving the public good and making sure that the foundation can exist 
going forward to, to do that. So let me move on a little bit. We're getting a little behind. So what is the Apache brand? So people might notice the little R symbol. It, Apache is actually a registered trademark now. Um, so what is the Apache brand at, at the higher level? So Apache is effectively our house brand for community-built software. So any software associated with Apache should be part of our brand. And our policies ensure that our projects are following that. So pragmatic license, using the Apache license. Always free to download. That's important for the public good because small companies or individuals might not be able to afford the great products vendors make. Uh, openly developed software, so our, our development model, the way our projects are governed, that's all part of our brand. And that's critical to what our brand is. So we want to make sure that that is seen both at the foundation and in our projects. So an important part here is the Apache brand, just as Apache by itself, and the Feather logo are both very important symbols, both from a business perspective as well as from a personal perspective from the majority of the membership. So we have a sort of different level of tolerance of potential use or misuse of Apache versus our project brands. Because Apache is us. We, we define what it is. And when someone says they are an Apache project, by definition, they are hosted at the Apache Software Foundation. Any project who is governed outside of the ASF is not an Apache project. That's, that's not the definition. The definition is our projects. So that's not terribly interesting if you're interested in our software. What you want to know about are the Apache project brands. So we have 149 plus. So in terms of that, we ensure that we share the brand by requiring uh, the Apache Foo, form of the name. So we have Apache Lucene and Apache Tomcat. It's not just Tomcat, it's Apache Tomcat. Obviously that gets skipped in some usage, but the formal name is Apache Tomcat. So every, every project defines the Foo part of their brand independently. So some projects really care and have great websites and have flashy stuff, and some projects use Forest and just generate it and don't update very often. Well, that's, that's what their project community wants. That's what they do. But they need to share the common Apache way. So there's some guidelines that projects must follow. But really, in terms of creativity and content, it's up to them, as long as it meets our basic branding requirements. An important thing here, which a few people have been confused about, is the foundation owns all trademarks for all of our projects and products on behalf of our products. Projects, excuse me. So here, when I say treat all Apache project and product names as trademarks, we have many Apache projects that are, have a project management committee and govern and release some software. They usually release software called the same thing. So Apache Tomcat project releases the Apache Tomcat product. And that makes a big difference for any trademark lawyers because a product is very different from a project. Um, some projects release multiple products, but we treat them all as trademarks, and we would ask you to treat them as our trademarks. So uh, people who are here probably don't need this, but there are people in the past who have needed this reminder. So a friendly reminder is it's not your brand. If it is an Apache product, it is our brand because that's the definition. It's hosted by Apache. So there have been some companies who were the leader or donated something to uh, the incubator and then felt they could still claim that it was theirs. No, if you, once you donate it to us, part of the donation process, part of the incubation process is officially handing over all trademarks. And we accept incoming registration transfers and so on and so forth. So this is critical because the Apache brand as the house brand can ensure that our projects remain independent. And independent projects ensure that many people may be interested in using them and especially contributing to them. Because we all know the difference between a lot of open source projects that are run by companies, which might do great technology, but often may have a hard time attracting new contributors to drive new innovation. Apache ensures that our projects are independent so that any newcomer, some small company, your competitor, um, you know, your business partner, could also join the Apache project and influence it because we want to ensure that everybody can do it. That, that way gets us the biggest pool of incoming contributors, which is one of our goals, effectively. So what actually is the policy? Um, 
the trademark policies are published, and I really don't want to read slides any more than you want to hear me read slides. They're on our website. Here's the URL. It links to all the details. Um, we're working on presenting the introduction in a, an easier to digest way. But the purpose, we've talked about the why of how Apache does things. The purpose of our policies is to maintain the ASF's ability to defend our project brands so that they can continue their identity going forward, such that we can also attract new project contributors. Because the more contributors we have to our products, the more software we can build and the more soft public good we can do by giving away, away software. Our products can't. So there are cases where we are much more liberal than obviously a for-profit vendor would be with third-party uses of our brands. So that's sort of a very general statement. We need to get, we can't get to all the specifics, but we can start. Fundamentally, Apache, as an organization, produces software products. So that's a clear trademark class. People can download something, run the software. Trademark lawyers understand it. Software vendors understand it. That's our primary thing. Don't mess with the brand in terms of software products because that's our core mission. A secondary good that we provide as a whole, as the foundation and as all our, our projects, is a core level of support for our products. So the point of being a public charity is that some small business owner can come to our site, go to the Apache Tomcat site, just on tomcat.apache.org, learn enough to download Tomcat, install it, configure it, run it, and have their you know, little web app running to run their business. That's the point. That, that gives value to the, to the world. Obviously, a larger business doesn't want to have to deal with all that configuration or might worry about support. So they want to hire some vendor. That's great. But the core person who doesn't want to pay for that or just doesn't know about it must be able to get it all from, from us. So the basic level of support we provide. And that's also important to our community. That's how our communities work, is they ask questions, they answer questions. People who answer questions get recognized potentially as committers. Um, so those are the things that Apache does do that are important for us to defend the brands. So you say, Shane, you've talked to us about what you think and all these high goals and, and what you shouldn't do, but what can we do? What are third parties allowed to do with Apache brands? Um, well, let's talk about that. How to use Apache brands. <clears throat> How to use Apache brands in a way that won't make Shane come after you. That's another way we could say the slide. So obviously on software products. So we have a very clear uh, rule in this. It was started way back when by the web server project um, who had the powered by metaphor. So these are, these are two examples of software product names by third parties that are OK. You don't even need to ask, presuming it's truthful. So the Ono Sende console powered by Apache Steve. And yes, that is a true Apache project. Uh, it really is an Apache project Steve that you can look up if you'd like. Uh, the Yo-Yo Dyn accelerator for Apache Cloud Stack. So when you take your cloud out into space and go to the eighth dimension, that would be very helpful for Apache Cloud Stack. It plugs into Cloud Stack. The point here is the primary brand, the Ono Sendai console or the Yo-Yo Dyn accelerator, must be your own. You have to have a brand for your software. You can't just piggyback completely on the Apache brand or the Apache project brand. And it, you must use the full Apache foo form of the name. So we've had issues in the past uh, about some project that uses you know, a, a bright yellow elephant where a lot of vendors have said, oh, so-and-so Hadoop. No, it has to be so-and-so Apache Hadoop. That's important. I will come contact you if you don't. And uh, project logos are not included in this. So obviously, you need to have your own logo. There's, there's no way to, to easily police and organize having a mashed up logo together. Um, the, the point here is this makes it clear. You have a brand. There's some separation between that and our brand, which is a clear distinction. Plugins use for, powered by, the web server powers by, powers other web servers, whatever. Um, but there has to be some sort of, of separation between the two that makes it clear they're, they're actually separate products that build on top of each other, whatever. So 
software services and hosting. So this is an area that there's a lot of opportunity because as we said earlier, Apache provides basic support, but we don't provide a lot of details because we're a nonprofit. We rely on volunteers. So this is where it's the Red Hat model amongst many, many others. Again, the primary brand needs to be your own. What, whatever the service that you're offering, um, whatever the training or consulting or uh, you know, detailed configuration, you need to have your own brand. But you can indeed say, we do this for Apache Lucene, or you know, we'll configure whoever. Again, using the Apache Foo form of the name is required. So this is a way to ensure that Apache has the recognition that even for smaller projects or for unusual situations, the end user will still understand you're offering some service based on this product. And this product is from Apache, and the service is from you. Uh, and again, logos are not included. So obviously, you can have a you know, best hosted solar instance, uh, and then on it have an about box saying, you know, we host Apache Solar instances and have a logo there because you're talking about, here's the software that we are hosting. It's very clear to users that there's what you're doing, what we're doing, or what we provide. So the separation needs to be there in all of these cases. So again, the, the why of this, the most important thing about why we still need to, beside the legal aspects of defending a brand, have these clear separations and the clear Apache is we want to give credit to our project communities. So making sure that the people who built each of the software products that our projects create get the credit for doing that, because many of them are volunteers who are not necessarily paid. Some obviously are paid by software vendors for obvious reasons. But giving that credit both is a great motivator for our committers, but it's also a way to, for newcomers to see, oh, you know, I've been using Lucene for a while and I've got this idea, and you know, hey, they really get credit, they're respected. If I put the idea in, maybe I can become part of the community. So it's a draw for new contributors. And, and of course, part of that is we need to ensure that your potential branding that's mixed with our branding doesn't blur the line that our project is independent. It's run at the ASF, and then it's run in an independent way that welcomes new contributors, even contributors potentially who are your competitors. We have plenty of projects who have vendors who are traditionally at each other's throats externally and collaborate on some core piece of software. And that, that's a great model for us. But we need to ensure that those two vendors don't lock out any other contributors who might want to honestly contribute to the core functionality. And that's very important to the foundation. So events and swag, which are things we'd like to do more of, certainly. Um, I know there are plenty of other events, but we'd like to do more organization and coordination between Apache side and, and vendor side of various things. So again, the event. Events are a little different because people have a pretty good understanding when you come to a place like this. The Linux Foundation is producing the event on behalf of the ASF. And it's pretty clear in people's minds that separation. So again, the primary brand needs to be yours. The primary brand may include the Apache product name Although, oddly enough, in this case, we ask that you just use the foo form. So just Lucene Revolution is one example, or Hadoop World is another example, both of which we have specific agreements with, where you know, it's very clear that then that is run by someone else, but it's about the Apache Hadoop software. So the event branding uh, policy has details. It, essentially, if you can check off and, and affirm that you will follow all these guidelines and send us you know, a sample of the branding, then we'll say, sure, great, do it with our blessing. Um, part of those requirements are including educational content for the core Apache product. So again, we're public charity. We give away software by attracting contributors who will voluntarily give us this, this IP to give away. So we need to make sure that if there's an event about Hadoop, that some of the content is educational about an Apache Hadoop instance downloaded from Apache. Obviously, there'll be a bunch that's about your particular product, and that's fine, we understand that. But that's why we also ask that your selection committee, if it's a big enough event to, to merit that, allows the PMC to participate in choosing the talks. Because we don't want to have you know, a, a vendor basically selling their product in a Lucene Revolution branded conference. 
that would not be good for our brand. We would come after you for that. And in the long run, it would not be a good idea for you either because the rest of the people who know the ecosystem would not, would say, hey, you're really pushing too far. So um, I have one tiny poll and then I will quickly go on. So who would be interested in producing something like this under an official license as a giveaway? So I would like to really expand, yes, I know David would and Mark. Uh, good, okay. So uh, I'd like to be able to, to let people do this kind of thing. No corporate logos, but there are plenty of corporations who would like to hand this out at their events for Apache Hadoop. Now obviously they're giving a talk about their version of Hadoop with all their customizations, but people understand that this is separate. So I'd like to figure out a way that we can do that safely without losing our control, but making it effective. So you would say, yeah, it's worth my you know, time to get approval and money to do it to give them away at events. So working on that. Would you consider different if it also had the Apache logo as well? I mean, would you treat those as different? You know, one is all basically, you know, validation and one has the logo. Would you either get approved or would that be Yes. So I have, I have an answer for that. Okay. It depends. Um, it does. Uh, the, the Apache feather is separate. So the feather by itself means the ASF, and that is not on the table. But the Apache Hadoop logo on this probably would be fine. What I don't want is the Apache Hadoop logo on one side and your logo on the other side, because that clearly implies you're affiliated or running or you know, the key player in the project. That's not good. There may be cases where that is appropriate. For example, conference t-shirts do that traditionally, right? But in other swag that is just given away, so, as I just said, it depends. Um, so what, uh, we can't go through all the details, um, but let me just go through what are and are not appropriate kinds of messages. So along with ensuring the Apache brand, you know, people understand it's separate from yours in whatever way, don't have the message do these things. So don't imply ownership or control of the project because that, that negates the fact that the project is independent. If you're running it, then why should some other vendor even consider jumping in? And then we don't have a project, we have your project, that's not it. Um, no superlatives, because I don't wanna hear somebody saying they're the best Apache Solar hosting, because then why would somebody else wanna come in? And I don't want my brand used that way, or my products, product brands. Um, and no affiliation or endorsement. So projects are independent. The technical direction is for the good of the community. And that's influenced by the participants in the community, not by the vendors, not by their employers. Obviously, in, a, in the bigger world, that's more complex, but fundamentally, that's the model. And uh, we frown strongly on some corporations who have had cl very clear marketing messages, maybe not on their website, but in all the rest of their materials, so it's kind of a little hidden. Oh yes, we, we employ nine out of 10 of these PMC members, so we really can fix these things. Um, again, that does not help the project, and it's not going to be good for us. So, uh, you know, Apache is vendor ne neutral, and our projects are independent. So, I'm sorry, Mark had a question. Yeah, yeah. just a follow-on to your oh. Um, probably. One of, the things I, one of the things I'd like to do is get more of our projects to create, come up with the Intel inside example, right? Uh, I would love to have, you know, all of our major projects have the, the elephant, which no, that's our logo, but then somebody had the idea of the, just the elephant's head in a little frame, and that would be powered by Hadoop. And anybody who had Hadoop software in their distribution could use that as part of their branding, because it would be a clear separation from the actual Hadoop. It's, that policy is there, but it's up to each project to decide if they want to create one of those. So that's an excellent question. If you want to say, hey, I want to do these other crazy things, or I'd like to be able to help, ask the projects, because um, it's up to them to de decide how to do that. I can't, I'm not going to do design artwork for projects. That's not appropriate.
So the, the you know, quick answer is the so other ways. So presuming you're all still sitting here, so you're, you're interested in supporting Apache projects, other ways you can show support, you know, in some ways that influence the project direction, but in some ways help evangelize the project, get the, the Apache brand out there, along with yours, are donating to code engineers, providing non-coders on projects. So we do have a number of projects that have marketing lists now. And I think it would be good to have their publicly archived mailing lists. Anybody in the community can join, um, where they talk about Apache Cloud Stack, for example, this is a great example. You know, how can we do more Apache Cloud Stack events? And different vendors show up and say, you know, we'll help underwrite such and such, or we'll help do this as long as we can get the community members to come and talk or evangelize, whatever. So yes, we'd like to support more of that. I'd like to see more projects explicitly recognizing that, because it's hard in some projects, because if you don't, you don't you know, have the patches to the actual code, then it's hard to get recognition. Um, but that's an excellent point, is we need to ensure that the PMC, who, the PMC actually is the governance body for any project. They vote on project, product releases and vote on new committers. So we need to ensure that the PMC monitors that and make sure that they say, hey, you know, does anybody else have ideas? Or we'd love to hear from some of these other vendors who also support this thing, right? It, that's, that's a constant struggle for projects that are gonna do that. But we do have, you know, most of our projects have a pretty good history of their, their project contributors who will help with that. And we also have the Apache membership and officers and we're growing the services that the foundation at a larger level offers to our projects to help out with that kind of issue. But no, I, I think about that issue yes, a lot. So uh, the other two ways I thought are sponsor and organize events, but one thing I would urge you to do is support your employees, if you're a vendor, uh, being speakers at Apache-related events. So there have been two people this week I've met who you know, really wanted to go in such and such conference. It, it aligns with their company's technical value, direction, whatever, um, but wouldn't get funding or couldn't get time off from their, from their own project to present a great speech. I mean, they're a respected Apache committer for whatever, but you know, corporate politics wouldn't let them do that little bit of extra to go out and put the message out. And I think that's a way that vendors could also do a really good job of helping is encourage your staff, because it gets your staff experience while they're there, of course, they can you know, also promote your thing. Um, and of course, sponsor the ASF. So if there are any sponsors here, thank you. We really do appreciate it, even if we're not as good at saying so. So very briefly, I will talk about the giant elephant in the room, who is hard to miss. He's right in front of me, Apache Brand Enforcement. So, no, sorry. Um, so, this is the slide we really don't want to talk about. So when it comes to any of these things, we've already all lost. So the, the real lesson to this slide is the last line, ask first. If you're gonna do something new, ask us first. Look at our policy, make sure your phone is set on vibrate, and give us time to respond. Some people come to us and you know, the next day say, I need the answer because I'm starting the event on Friday. I'm like, doesn't work that way. Doesn't even work that way with other vendors. So give us plenty of time to respond, but ask first. And when we come and say, hey, this isn't working, you need to listen, because it's not just, some people still look at, oh, you know, Apache Access, yeah, whatever, it's just some open source thing, I don't need to care. No, it's Apache Access. It's my project. We're the Apache Software Foundation, and you're not doing it right. So when that is necessary, I usually contact someone privately always, because that saves a lot of face, and usually that works. But if that doesn't work, we have legal action. A number of our trademarks are registered. And even the ones that aren't, we still have plenty of, of you know, good data that there are trademarks. Uh, we have DLA Piper as our primary trademark, trademark pro bono counsel. So that's a global IP law firm, right? Ranked as one of the top uh, trademark and IP law firms around. So they give us amazing support. We also have Software Freedom Law Center, right? Um, as a backup pro bono counsel for when they have a conflict. Uh, we have social presser, pressure and press. Obviously, if some vendor in a, in a mixed project is misbehaving, employees from other vendors, as well as independent 
committers on the project will let that vendor know. They will call it out on the list, on the public list sometimes. And uh, if you care about your reputation in the technical community, you'll care. And for the rare cases where some company truly is not respecting our brands or respecting the way to work with Apache projects, then although we are very careful to keep the board and, and governance separate from technical direction, uh, I am happy to ask the board to boot employees from bad vendor number one from this project. And that indeed has happened in the past. So if you're trying to capitalize on some Apache product um, and overstep the bounds, well, then there's no reason from our perspective that you should be allowed to con continue to contribute to that product because you're not playing fair. So, and that doesn't, that, that's, those are actually easy things for us, although the social fallout is bad. But the point is, don't let it get there, which hopefully we all understand. And I will wrap up to say thank you and just a couple of the URLs to resources. So it really is about community over code. So I thought about my thank you bullets. So I want to thank all the Apache members, um, past, present, and future, who have built the foundation and created this model that has attracted so much attention. Uh, I want to thank all the Apache committers and PMC members, because the members have built the foundation with this model, but the committers on our projects actually give away the software. They actually build the software. So they're actually the most important people. Uh, I'd like to thank the, all the members of the Apache Trademark Committee. Mark, are you paying attention? Especially David Nally, uh, who has really stepped up. Um, we, have, we have a lot of members who help out on uh, internal governance. Uh, David is one of the people who's really stepped up and done the extra mile and done it right uh, most of the time. So, uh, And thanks to our counsel at DLI Piper, we have uh, Mark Radcliffe is a pretty well-known IP attorney, uh, as well as the rest of his staff who have given us great support. Uh, and thank you to all the companies who are doing a good job of respecting Apache brands, both, both in the past, thank you, Scott, uh, and in the future, everybody else who might want to do things. Uh, we really do appreciate that, and we really do understand that having vendors have their employees participate in our projects is good for both of us. Um, it's really a great model. So hopefully that has helped. I just have a few links to the policy. The only thing I uh, urge is the project independence essay on the community website is I tried to really write an essay explaining the whys and wherefores of projects appearing to be independent. So this is important. It would be great if people could have their marketing lead go read this and believe it because it's a requirement for Apache projects. So that's our message. And a lot of people who come to ApacheCon get it, and they go back, and they start some campaign, and their marketing director takes it and goes off with it, and their marketing director does not get it. And this is kind of a, the key why it's important for us to be independent. And the only, this is an odd place. Questions about trademarks? You're happy to, I'm happy to have you ask on a public list. But if you are, would like, I'm happy to have you ask on a private list. Because sometimes you say, hey, could I do this? And if the answer is no, then, you know, or you don't want to announce your plans. Ask on trademarks, which is private, and ask on the relevant project's PMC list. So every Apache project has a private at tomcat.apache.org, which is privately archived, and only PMC members can read it. So ask there if you'd like, and we'll get an answer back to you. So that's it for this. Hopefully this is the right time. And are there any more questions? And we have these lovely Ask Me buttons, which I don't think any of it, oh, Jan has one, yes. We have these lovely Ask Me buttons that we, we did a couple years ago, with like one of our first times with like buying swag with like official foundation money, and we put them on at conferences, and nobody actually asks us. So if you see somebody with an Ask Me button, ask them a question. Anything about Apache is great, but anything, we, we'd love to you know, actually have a chance to answer. So, I'm not wearing my button, but what are the rest of the questions you have? Okay, Nick.
<laughs> I don't know. I'm, I've actually started thinking about, you know, Shane's open source consulting group, so that might be one place. Um, come and ask. So I think, you know, if you're here, then talk with me or talk with one of our directors or talk with Ross, the president, or talk with Nick. Um, no, I agree that we could do a better job of, you know, when some company, when one of us knows about some company that we can do a better job of going out, helping them get started, right? Um, but some of it's the interacting with the foundation and the brands, and some of it's really, you know, you really need to be involved in a project for some business reason, for some of your engineers or, or whoever, to really care on the bigger picture. So I think it's, it's two-sided to a degree, right? Because I think there are some times where people have this great idea, but it's not fundamental to their business. They're not really invested in the technology, so it's kind of hard to match it up on the corporate side as well as on our side. But yes, um, I don't know. Come ask me and I'll try and help. Yeah, you know, we had a few, I mean, if we trolled back through, we don't have videos of all the past, you know, Apache Ways and State of the Feathers, one or two of those probably have some a really good start, but none of them are really focused on that. I mean, it's not until the past few years we've had enough companies who really have, you know, hey, no, really, I've got a bunch of money and I really want to invest in the whole ecosystem, um, that this is kind of, we're trying to catch up in terms of our ability to help that. Uh, certainly a good thing, but... So documentation is under the Apache license. Um, well, yes, it's, I mean, the, the documentation on our website is part of the brand and part of the project's presentation, and it needs to be there so that people can find it. Um, but when it's part of the product, yes, it's part of the software product when you download it. So it Yes. Yeah. We, I have a basic FAQ. We're happy for people to not necessarily use the product logo, but use the project names and book titles. We're happy for them to repurpose content as long as you follow the license in your, your regularly published work. Um, I agree we could do a better job of clarifying how much uh, attribution and how much you know, recognition of where the content came from. Now, one of the issues here is, the tricky thing with branding, is that there are plenty of things that are technically legal, but that we really don't want you to do. So there are some cases where you can essentially screen scrape all the documentation, stick it in a book, publish it, and as long as you put the Apache license in there, you know, I don't think we could sue you, right? But we really don't want that to happen. So, you know, I, we try to write the policies to guide people to the right thing, but when that, you know, if that actually happens, there really are limits to what we can and can't do because of the Apache license. I mean, we want this stuff to get out there. And especially in, in regularly published books, I'm really not as, as long as they're not implying an affiliation or that they are the only way to, to do something about an Apache product. I'm not as concerned about those because, great, they publish it, you know, a thousand people buy it and read it, and then a bunch of those thousand people are gonna come to the Apache website, download it, right? So that still drives people to us. I'm not, I'm not as worried about books. It's more online things that I would be worried about. But, no, it's, I know, it's not easy. Oh, so the, uh, I have my backup slide because occasionally I get, get asked this, people say, but it's all in the, Apache license, it's all free, right? I can just take whatever I want. Well, sure, you can take the 
the logo of the Hadoop elephant, the logo itself is under the Apache license. Great. Sure. You can redo it. You can put it in your software all you want, but don't use it as a trademark. So subtle but very important difference. Yes. Uh, if you sold a product that were in the big data space called Big Blue Hat Hadoop, I'm confident that I could get DLI Piper to write a C&D letter. Yes. Yeah. Yes, we're working on that. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, yes. Uh, with some difficulty, and the, the key point really is we require the Apache under the other name, right? So the, the Apache brand itself has enough reach that people are going to know that Apache whatever, you know, I mean, Apache Tika, not in really big products. Somebody may, wants to take over PDFs, but when people see Apache Tika, they'll say, "Oh, it's probably right." Um, Yeah, it, it, and I agree it's difficult. I've, I've actually had somebody's lawyer say, but this part of the name is registered, so that's what we do. I'm like, yeah, I don't care about the legal part. You do it this way because it's the right thing to do with us. And yeah, we're, give us time, we'll register that too, but so. Mark? That's a long and complicated story that's very painful. But, 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 that would not be but they, they include Apache. Okay. So that's part, of, that's part of the things I'm actually going to be doing next week is going through all the vendors and ensuring that that is consistent for all the vendors. And I understand distribution is, not, is a poor choice of word, but it's already in the marketplace. So it's, we're just dealing with that. And that for Hadoop, that's how it works. You can have a distribution of Apache Hadoop. Uh, do not do that for other products. But thank you. So uh, Jan tells me we're all done. So we need to let the next speaker come in. Um, but as I said, I'm happy to answer questions. Jim is the director. Nick uh, knows a whole lot of stuff and a lot of beer. Uh, Jan has an ask me button. So any of us certainly can be asked questions. <laughs>